Good morning, Merdinian family and everybody else who is joining us this morning. Um, it was precious to wake up and, and see even a little rain. Uh, it was honestly very refreshing after a lot of warm days we've had. I hope this is working and uh, yes, seems like it is working. Good morning, Lena Kuit. By Louis, we are ready, but really, <laughs> let everything that has breath. Amen. Praise the Lord. I, I say yes, I agree. And if we have breath today, which by the grace of God, here we are, we should give him um, all the praise and honor. Well, um, if you think some of your friends are still sleeping, maybe you want to send them a text and tell them, let's, let's get going. It's, it's an amazing way to start your Monday by praising, by worshiping the Lord and giving him all the all the honor, all the glory today and forever. Um, I hope we don't get any technical difficulties. Uh, internet has been giving me a lot of problems, but if we do, it's okay. As long as you hear my voice, you can join in worship. Good morning, Alice. Good morning, Pastor Haru. It is good to hear from you. Thanks for joining and worshiping together. Let me tell you, I've got two songs. First one, we'll sing it both in Armenian and English. Give thanks. I think it's an amazing uh, praise song that it reminds us that even in our weaknesses we have to remember that in Christ we are strong even in our maybe even poor spirit to say we still remember that the Lord has done everything for us and most importantly he has given us his Holy Spirit. So many, many reasons out there to worship him. Good morning, Miss Lena. Good morning, Austin and everyone else. Well, I want to get started so we will have time to meditate on the Word of God. Pray with me. Father, I thank you so much for trusting us another day, another week. Thank you for planning a beautiful uh, day for us. I mean, to wake up and see that the beautiful, sweet rain coming down, it, it, it just, it makes my heart to, to thank you, makes my heart to praise you, to worship you. Um, Father, you're so good. Thank you for providing for us. Thank you for always showing a way, opening the path. I'm thankful for this family. Thank you for everything you've done everything you're doing now and the plans you have for the future father i pray that during this opportunity days we will not waste a minute we will not wait a minute to come closer to worship you to grow in our faith our relationship with the with the living god should really shine during those days. So I pray that your will be done right here on earth amongst us as it is done in the heaven. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Mm -hmm. Partan gohunak sirto partan as the to amba partan ir vort fuin hamat Jesus Christ osi me kan kami vas partan gohunak sirto. Ne 
To the Lord. Good morning. Um, uh, good morning, Anthony, uh, Mary, Balian, and of course, yeah, Lena and Lori, Julia. Good morning, Anthony, and Maral Koja. Good morning from Savannah and Vivi Belerian. Good morning. Good morning, and thank you for joining. Well. Uh, a few weeks ago, I taught you, I introduced you a song, which um, I won't assume you already know, but I would like to do it. This is an amazing song to remind us that we do have a way maker, a miracle worker, a light in the darkness. Who is that? It is my God. That's who he is. Try to sing it with me, okay? You are here. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. Yes, Lord. I worship you. I worship you. One more time. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you, yes, Lord. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you, yes, Lord. I worship you. Are you ready? Say with me. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Amazing testimony. Waymaker, miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Sandra. Say with me. Verse number two. You are here. You are here. Turning lives around. Yes, Lord. I worship you. I worship you. You are here. Healing every heart. I worship you. 
time you are here touching every heart I worship you I worship you worship him you are here healing every heart I worship you are you ready I worship you song. We're going to sing verse number three. I want you to give your best. Here we go. You're here. You are here turning lives around. I worship you. Yes, Lord. I worship you. You are here say, yes, you are. We make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. We make a miracle worker, promise keeper, light in the darkness. My God, that is who you are. for worshiping with me. I hope by now your voice feels better as uh, it does mine. Um, Queen Manijan, good morning to you. May you were all be blessed with our chapel time again, where you would lead the worship songs. In Jesus' name we pray. Absolutely, amen. And good morning, Hofsep. God bless you too. Well, let me tell you what we have been doing. Uh, we introduced uh, we introduced you the theme of being exemplary. That was the topic we've been talking about in the month of May. I hope you can hear me clearly. But we're talking about character building. And you have a theme that you talk about every month. I was so excited when I received that um, inf notes, email from Miss Lena. And, and one of my favorite uh, topics to talk about and so we've been in um, from the from the book of Peter we've been talking about some of his writings um, how to be disciplined how to uh, conduct ourselves with with people around us so them looking at our life they can praise the Lord uh, they can glorify the Father and things like that which has been an amazing experience so I want to <clears throat> continue kind of the same topic and but I also want to remind you um, as as a church, as a Christian church, where we are in our special annual calendar. Um, this is a, a kind of half uh, informative, half preaching, whatever you want to call it. But I, I want to make sure that we also learn some really good new things. Well, let's start, first of all, recognizing or realizing where we are in our an annual calendar as a Christian even nation, Christian church, Christian school, and Christian family, and a Christian person. Today is May 18, 2020. I hope I said the date right. Yes, I did. Good. In three days will be May 21st. Now, if I tell you Christmas, you know where that is. If I tell you Thanksgiving, you know where that is. If I tell you Palm Sunday, Easter, and everybody seems like they know these dates very well because they're 
spoken about, they're preached about, they're celebrated. That's amazing. Now, if I tell you, do you know what is on May 21st? It'll be hard for a lot of people to answer because maybe it's our fault. We have not talked about it uh, enough and, and taught about it enough. It is Ascension Day. Now let's let's try to put this in perspective. All right, the things start on Ash Wednesday. And from Ash Wednesday to Easter, we have about not about, we have 40 days. So from Ash Wednesday to Easter, it is also called a season of Lent. <coughs> Excuse me. A season of Lent. A lot of people fast during those days a lot of people will let go some of their favorite things kind of it's a season of commitment it's a season of thinking again about your life priorities and bringing christ into your daily life now we should be doing that all the time but that's okay it's a good season for us to do that that's the lens so from ash wednesday all the way to to easter and then we come and then a week before easter we have palm sunday you already know we celebrate Jesus' glorious entrance into Jerusalem. Remember palm branches singing Hosanna? All right, so that happens on a Sunday. And then we come all the way to Monday, Thursday, where we celebrate Jesus' last supper with his disciples. All right, that's Thursday night. And then we go to Good Friday, where we remember the crucifixion. That's Good, good, that's good Friday. And I remember also that from Palm Sunday to Easter Sunday, we call that the Holy Week. Now, on Easter Sunday, we celebrate the risen Christ. He lives forevermore. Death has lost. Life has won. And Christ has called every one of us. If we believe in him, we shall not die. We're not talking about a physical death. We're talking about an eternal life promise. Eternity in in heaven, eternity in Christ. So that's the amazing news of Easter Sunday, that Christ has won the battle on the cross. He lives forevermore. And it seems like, you know, that's it. We're done celebrating. Holy Week is over. Lent is over. Let's go back to work until we'll see what's the next celebration. Now, what we're missing out is after Easter, some amazing things happen. And, um, and one of them is 40 days after Easter, which will be May 21st, is Ascension Day. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit. And then after Ascension, 40 days, we go to the 50th day, 5-0, where we celebrate Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Spirit. The word Pentecost comes from penta in Latin, which, is, which means the 50th day, the promise of the 50th day, where Jesus said, I'm going, that's right. But you're not going to be by yourself. You're not going to be like you know, left alone. So I'm going to send the helper. I'm going to send the comfort. I'm going to send the Holy Spirit. When he dwells inside of you, you're going to have power. You're going to become powerful witnesses. So we are between Easter and Pentecost. And soon we'll be celebrating the ascension of Christ. Now, Ascension, literally, I want you to remember, is Jesus is going, so Holy Spirit will come. That's the theme that I want you to remember of, and that's what I want to talk about. You have on your screens, you don't have to run, get a Bible, but read with me from Luke chapter 24, verses 50 to 53. Are you ready? I hope you're zooming in so you can read with me. And he let them, he meaning Jesus, let them out as far as Bethany, and he lifted up his hands and blessed them. Now it came to pass while he blessed them that he was parted from them and carried up into heaven. Whoa. And they worshipped him. And after worshipping him right there, they returned to Jerusalem. That means they had come from Jerusalem to Bethany. They experienced ascension. Now they're going back to Jerusalem. How? With great joy. Now they went back. What do you do now? And they were continually in the temple praising and blessing God. Amen. Very good. You know when, when your parents tell you, you know what? I'm going to go to Target. I'll be back like in an hour. I need you to behave. So you're home, right? You're in your comfort zone. Your parents, I don't know, let's say mom, dad, went to the store. 
and you're like, whoa, wait, I feel freedom. I can I can do whatever I want. Yes, but not. Can I make my choices? Yes, but not. Am I kind of the lord of the house or kind of the owner of the house because my parents are? Yes and not. Yes, because it makes you responsible of the moment. Yes, because you truly have been trusted by your parents to say, you know what? I kind of, I trust you. I believe you that you will make the right decisions. You will make things right. You're not going to hurt yourself. You're not going to destroy our house. I'll be right back. So it's kind of that same little feeling that Jesus says, you know what? I'm going, all right? I trust you. You wait until the Holy Spirit comes back. So between there, there's about 10 days between ascension to, hold, to the Pentecost. And that is where I want to say our faith is really tested. That the disciples say, you know what? We've experienced the amazing. Jesus was dead, crucified. Now he's alive. Whoa, that's awesome. Not only that, in front of their eyes, a cloud takes him up to heaven. Can you imagine that experience? And then after that, they're like, well, he's gone and we're free. Let's do whatever we want, right? Let's go back to, no, 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 no. It says they go back to where they started, Jerusalem. And in Jerusalem, in the temple, what they are doing is continually praising and blessing God, waiting for the Holy Spirit. And that's where I want you, I want to invite you to do. I have literally one minute to close this. That's what I want to invite that you and I will do. We have from now all the way to Pentecost, we have what, 10, um, 13, 14, 13 days. In this 13 days, what I want us not only be kind of religious, be good behaving people, but we should be praying and praising people. We should wait um, that the Holy Spirit is, is coming, has come, will come. And when he becomes, when we become his dwelling place, we're going to become people of power, authority, not because of us, but because of him. Not because we have this power from outside in, but because the Holy Spirit came from outside. I'm sorry, from inside out. He came from outside in and he makes us the temple of his Holy Spirit. So Ascension Day, I would like to think about Jesus went to send the Holy Spirit, and it is a time of testing. What do you do when your parents tell you, you are responsible, I'm going, and I'll be back in an hour? What do you behave and how you behave, what decisions you make, what things you do, that really tells you how much you have grown. Isn't that true? How much you can be trusted again. Isn't that true? So the same thing happens with our spiritual life. Sometimes God says, you know what? I've spent, you've seen so many goodness, you've seen so many miracles. I'm going, and the Holy Spirit is coming, but let me see how you behave during that break, during that time. So I want to pray for you. I want to pray that we all will be good stewards of our time, even when we feel that Jesus is gone and the Holy Spirit, it's not, I don't, I don't feel, I don't see things going well, during that time, it's really, it's very important. It's when we are being tested to stay in praising, in praying, and in blessing the Lord. Because we know one thing. When God promises, the word says, He is no man to lie or to change his mind. If he has promised, then he's the promise keeper. Way in the darkness, our God Amen. That's what we're just singing. A God of miracles. So pray with me. Lord, I thank you so much for giving me this time to share with my uh, Merdinian family. Lord, I pray that as we remember that glorious day of ascension, Lord, we will know that there are times in our lives where we, we see you glorified. And then but there is no power or strength inside out. And during that gap, Lord, our faith is tested, our decisions, everything, our character. And I pray that we will stay in your presence, praising you, blessing you, and waiting for your promises. We love you so much. Thank you, Lord, for always keeping your promises and really just raining your blessings on us. You're an amazing God. We worship you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. 
Well, thank you so much, uh, Carmen Naver. Good morning from Natalie. Good, n right? Yes, good morning. Uh, Carmen, my pleasure. Nighty, good morning, Pastor Harud. This is from uh, Nighty from a Hi, Nighty. Thank you for joining. Uh, thank you for guiding us. My pleasure. Thank you for being here. Hi, Maida. Um, Alexa, good morning. This is Alexa from 8th grade. Thank you, Alexa. Thank you for joining. Um, yes, Nare and everybody else. Armin and Albandia. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Harud and uh, Miss Lina. We love you very much. I want us to have a blessed day. Go get ready and go get it. Remember, with Jesus, everything and always is amazing. We love you. God bless you. Until next Monday.